All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, Brian here with Be Free Productions. We are going to look at Aurora Choir by Aria Sounds. Um, it's on sale right now. It's only a hundred bucks. Some people are wondering, should I get this choir? Um, I say, if you already have a choir, don't buy it. If you don't have a choir and you like what you hear, you know why not? Um, but you know it is Black Friday coming up. It's only a hundred bucks, but Come on, there's a lot of other things you can get for 100 bucks around this time of year. So, let's see what it sounds like. So I like the way it sounds at the low dynamics only. Um, I think it sounds really thin, synthetic, harsh when you get into the fuller dynamics. There aren't that many uh, dynamic layers too. Um, maybe like two. Um, but it sounds like totally different. Uh, like just the timber and the recordings when you get in those lower. Like, like right around there, it starts to get, they're yelling, you know. Um, I just don't think the crossfading is very smooth. Um, the legato. So you can hear right there the, there's only one octave legato range. You can hear the slide. It doesn't slide as soon as you go down to the C there um again i mean this is not bad in the lower dynamics at all i've used it on two tracks um just because i have much better choirs um you know i i like the sound of that but as soon as you get i just i really don't like the sound of it when it's um full blown uh in the high dynamic range You can hear like in insane inconsistency with volume and, and timbre there. Um, here's the sustains. Now the sequence, I thought this would be cool. You know, you can get kind of like an O Fortuna, uh, kind of classical epic chant, but, um, So um, when you put this in your DAW, in your sequencer, it, it doesn't go to the beat um, perfectly. You can adjust the sequencer speed, um, but then it's really cut off, really staccato. Um, so you're going to have to adjust that in your DAW. Um, just place every single note because it's not going to be on beat the way you want it to. It's kind of painstaking. I have never used it for that uh, reason. Those were the altos. Here's the... So, I mean, the volume is just inconsistent with... That's 
that note is much louder than the one I just played. Um, again, it's a hundred bucks. If you like the sound, go ahead. I just, it was probably the first library I ever bought. I really regretted it, even though it was just a hundred bucks. Um, so in, at that time, the only other choir I had was Contact Factory Library, which I still think is much better. Okay, so I went down into the male voices there at that C note, but... So this is so simple, but I just think it sounds better. Um, then, so for the legato, let's just compare that legato transition sound. Okay, this choir, someone mentioned it in the in the forum. Uh, I don't think they were, like, comparing it, but just... So Genesis is, like, 300 bucks right now. This choir is absolutely amazing, and to be honest, for those higher notes, I prefer a children's choir um, by far. It just... It's, it's pure. It's innocent. Um, Genesis is an amazing product, and it has so much more to offer, and it's 300 bucks. Um, not on discount. I don't know the price of Aurora, but it's a lot, a lot more than that, uh, than the discount price. And I don't, I don't, I just can't justify that. Um, this is the uh, Time Macro Choir. And then for the shorts, let's... So let's just like You can hear what I mean about being on beat that's not on beat. Um, now my favorite for shorts, Oceania, I don't know exactly how to say it. You can hear it's on beat. So yeah, um... That's why I don't like it. Uh, to me, it was a waste of money. But I, I say, like, if you don't have a choir, you know, go ahead. But it's just, it doesn't have the features. It doesn't have even the simple, the f f contact factory library, I think sounds infinitely better than Aurora. So those are things I don't like about it. I also think the built-in reverb is really bad
and like those volume inconsistencies it's just it's just distracting um it's not good scripting it's kind of lazy you know it, it got so much louder there up in the higher dynamics now all i know is about this company is that they make this stuff and it's it's price kind of insane because i've never read a good review for it um i hate to knock like companies and products like that but this to me it just is not a good product it looks very pretty the demos sound good or else i wouldn't have bought it but it was a waste of money for me um you may totally be different so that's why i made this video listen to it for yourself um I did have an issue with this and support did get back to me. So I don't have complaints about their customer service. Um, I just don't really enjoy their products. So uh, you be the judge. Thanks for watching.